Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide. Today we will learn how to integrate Selenium with Jenkins for your functional test automation. For this tutorial, we will need few prerequisites. If you are following our DevOps series, then you know that how we have created one Spring Boot web application, how we deployed the same in a Tomcat server in AWS EC2. Now there are some tutorials also how to create the functional testing with Selenium web driver, Selenium headless browser that is HTML unit driver. You can check our past tutorials video for that. But this video is focused on how we can integrate our Selenium functional testing with Jenkins. So once you are creating a complete automated assembly line, to deploy your code to production, the Jenkins will integrate Selenium to create the functional testing report before it goes to production. Our prerequisites are Jenkins setups. Again, if you are following our DevOps series, you know how to set up the Jenkins. Otherwise, please check our past video on how to set up Jenkins. Next, web app deployed. In Tomcat, we have a small Spring Boot web application deployed in Tomcat server and it is up and running. Selenium test cases in web app. We created the Selenium test cases, functional test cases in web app. In our past video, you can see in detail, step by step, how to create functional test with Selenium web driver. So now let me show you our setup first. Here is our GitHub repository. You will get the complete project from here, which is github.com slash AWS tech guide slash spring dash web app. It has the whole project of Spring Boot web application and it contains two sub projects for your functional and acceptance test. I'm going inside this acceptance test just to show you SRC test automation and we have a app test dot java class which basically is containing the test classes so we have two urls to test from the same app as you see this ip or this url is actually coming from the ec2 instance ipv4 where we have deployed our web app test this thing so let's go to our EC2 instance or the Tomcat server where we have deployed our web application. This is our Tomcat application is running. Tomcat server is running and here goes our application. I, IP address. IP address is the IPv4 public address of your EC2 instance colon 8080 and your context path for the application. I will show you the configuration how it is. So it's showing me this. Here I am at my Jenkins dashboard. It is up and running. The first thing we have to do, we have to install one plugin to integrate Selenium HTML report. So go to manage Jenkins. Scroll down, click on manage plugins. Go to available. Search Selenium here and you will find Selenium HTML report. Click on install without restart. It has installed. Go back to Jenkins. Now we will create one Jenkins job which will pull our source code from Git repository, will do a Maven build and will perform the functional testing to generate the Selenium HTML report for us. So click on new item, give a name, functional test, click Maven project. In source code management, click on git and go to our git repository, copy the repository URL, add it here. It is public repository, that's why we don't need any credential here. Scroll down. Now at this build section, we have to provide the POM XML path of our acceptance test. 
So let's go to our Git repository. Here is our acceptance test. Click on form. So this will be our part. Copy this. Go back to Git repository. And goal is just test. Click on add post bid action. And you should have one option called publish HTML report, but we are not getting that publish HTML report. So just going back to our Jenkins, we have to install one more plugin here, manage Jenkins, manage plugin, click on available, search HTML publisher. Click it, install without restart. It has installed successfully. Now let's go back to our Jenkins dashboard and to our functional test job. Click on configure, scroll down, click on add post build action. And now here we get publish HTML reports. Click on that, click on add. Now you have to provide our HTML directory to our client. In our case, it will be acceptance dash test because the sub project which I have created under Spring app web application, the Selenium test methods are under acceptance dash test target surefire dash reports. And that's it. Click on save. Now let me show you one important thing. In our GitHub repository, I'm going inside acceptance test because it will trigger the acceptance test methods from here. Let's go in, click test automation, app test.java. And as you see that I have mentioned this home URL or products URL or the number of URL you will be selecting here that it is up and running. I have not mentioned this URL or this IP address anywhere in the Jenkins integration. So once if you are taking this code from our Git repository, make sure that you update this IP with your Tomcat server IP address. So let's go back to our Jenkins. Click on build now. Click over the build number. Click console output. It has started building and it's showing build is successful. So let's go back to build. And there is a option called HTML report. It's, it has come because of our HTML publisher plugin. Click on that and here shows our selenium test results as you see there's this test one test two test three three methods three passed now let me take you to our app dot test we have three methods test one test two test three well all have passed and we did some sys out over here okay number of times available number of times available so if you go I'm going back to the Jenkins functional test. Clicking on the build number. Check the console output. Scroll down. And once it started testing, you see that this sysouts have started printing also. So your test cases were actually getting executed. So today we have learned how to integrate Selenium with Jenkins and automate your functional testing. Now our next small part is, if you are following our DevOps series, then you know that we have one Jenkins job, which is actually deploy web app. In deploy web app, we let me show you what we are doing. Click on 
configure we are pulling the source code from our github repository building it and we are deploying our work file to the tomcat server we have created in aws ec2 instance if you want to know in detail how we created this means how we developed the web application or how we created a jenkins job to push the work file to the tomcat server please check our past tutorial you will get step by step instruction on that but now what we will be doing we want that after successful deployment our functional test should start because normally what we do we first deploy in qa and then we do our functional testing so we are basically automating this task here by deploy web app jenkins job we are deploying the work file to our ec2 instance and after that we want to trigger the functional testing so let's click on add post build action click on build other projects and type the name of your next job which is functional testing functional test and drag down this below deploy work so it means you want to deploy the work first then do the functional test and it says trigger only if build is stable so click here saved it now what we will do we will trigger this deploy app jenkins job so it will first deploy the work file to tomcat server and automatically will trigger our functional test job so i am just clicking on this build now going back to our jenkins as you see that our deploy web app has started deploy web app has finished now it should trigger the next job which we have linked that is functional test it automatically started functional test and functional test is going on perfect so functional test has also successfully completed so go to functional test and check that it has completed the second build build over success click on the html report and you get the whole html report three methods three fast thank you for watching this tutorial hope you are learning how to create a complete automated assembly line for devops starting from code quality analysis to your performance testing and ultimately deploy to production please check the complete series of devops it will give you every step by step instruction and guidance how to create this automated assembly line see you in our next lecture thank you